And it is an exciting night here at News Channel 5. I have a brand new co-anchor, and it is my pleasure to introduce Chris Flanagan. And Chris, we welcome you to the News Channel 5 team. Glad to have you here. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Dean. It is great to be here, and I feel right at home. Well, you know what? You didn't waste any time. You really got here, and you hit the street running, and you have a wonderful story tonight on the Cleveland Food Bank and the great work they do. Oh, they're doing fabulous work over there. It was, of course, a busy week uh, for the Food Bank. Next couple of weeks will be really busy with the holidays here. You know, while many of us will sit Sit down and enjoy a big Thanksgiving meal on Thursday. That will not be the case for one in six Northeast Ohio families. Many don't know where their next meal will come from. The Cleveland Food Bank is helping make sure a lot of those families won't go hungry this holiday. Esther Williams grabs bagels by the handful as she stocks up to feed the hungry. Esther is volunteer food pantry coordinator at Beulah Baptist Church, and this trip to the Cleveland Food Bank will serve between 400 and 500 people. You can never estimate, you know, who's going to come at any given time. Uh, this being the fall part of the year, going into the holiday season, um, you may have another 465 people. This could be a record holiday season for the Cleveland Food Bank, which often distributes more than 100,000 pounds of food per day between now and Christmas. Kristen Warzaka, the Food Bank's Vice President for External Affairs, says they've seen a nearly 60% jump in need in the past three years, and with a high unemployment rate, that number is expected to rise. The increase has been absolutely extraordinary and really beyond what we ever could have imagined. The food bank expects to serve 30 million meals in the next year, including to some folks who once volunteered at and donated to the food bank. They're now returning to ask for help. But they've lost jobs and they simply are running out of money and they're, they're in need of food. And so a lot of people are coming into agencies for the first time. Esther Williams sees that firsthand. She served 70 new people since the beginning of the month. For those of us that have, think about for those that don't have. And anywhere that you can make a difference, be glad to do it because at the end of the day, you'll sleep better knowing that you helped someone along the way. Helping the hungry on, one meal at a time. God bless. Thank you. Been good seeing you. Doing great work there. The Cleveland Food Bank, by the way, says every dollar donated to the food bank provides enough. Food for four nutritious meals. You need to find much more information on our website as, at newsnet5.com. Wow, they do such wonderful they work. Do. And Chris, again, we're glad to have you here. And Chris is going to join us a little later in the newscast. He'll join his brothers, Mark and Andy. <laughs> yeah. I am the lone woman up here, but Chris, <laughs> yeah, right. so glad to have you. We're in good hands. All right, you are. Mark, 